Cities generate over 75% of the world's wealth. This attracts lots of people looking for a better future. But more people need more housing. Lack of affordable housing means that living in slums is often the only alternative. There is now an increased need for basic services. These services are often expensive and don't work well. The consequence? Diseases and epidemics become the norm. People need to earn a living. If they can't find regular jobs in their city, they will look for money somewhere else. Informal economies boom, as do illegal activities. Many cities currently follow traditional urban planning with strict zoning. Residential over here, industries over there, commercial in the middle, more residential suburbs all around. The result is urban sprawl. Cities get wide. And wide means that people need to travel longer distances. How do they travel? Mostly by car. This results in huge jams. This slows down not only traffic, but also a city's economy. Cities are big polluters. They account for as much as 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions, the main cause of climate change. As a result, natural disasters and storms test the resilience of our cities more than ever. Loss of lives, destroyed property and economic downturn are a global problem. In the face of all this, cities need to rethink themselves. Cities need to have a holistic, all-inclusive approach to their development so as to accommodate more people and provide equal opportunities for all. So what is a city that works? Cities need to get their street grid right, with sufficient intersections to ease traffic flow, enhance access and interconnect the city. Cities need to embrace mixed land use, become more compact, blending residences, offices, shops, amenities. This cuts the need for long commutes. Cities also need to get their social mix right, promoting neighbourhoods with a variety of housing types for all budgets. Well-planned cities increase their job numbers by 15% by being just that, well-planned. But cities need to look beyond this, providing the right incentives for the economic sector to strive and focusing on providing jobs to the urban poor. Slums need to be upgraded and connected to the city, not only in terms of mobility, but also socially, to create a strong overall social tissue and foster inclusivity. Universal access to basic services is paramount. Cities also need to provide enough land for public spaces, at least 30% of their footprint. Public spaces are vital for social exchange. They are spaces for leisure, fitness and culture, and where citizens interact. Cities need to free themselves from the dominance of cars by setting up attractive, affordable public transport systems and promoting non-motorised mobility such as walking and cycling. That will not only reduce congestion, but also help to curb pollution. Cities need to become greener to help alleviate the effects of climate change and provide a clean environment for their citizens. At the same time, cities need to become resilient to the increasing adverse effects of climate change. All this makes for a happy city. Your habitat for a better urban future.